Dear staff, parents, and students of St. Teresa Elementary School, I'm Father Peter Chalela. I come to you from Blessed Sacrament Church, having just celebrated our Easter Mass this morning. And I wish to convey my Easter greetings on behalf of the parishes of Blessed Sacrament Church and St. Anthony Daniel. As we celebrate this holiest time of the year, I wish to convey my personal message to you. This coming Thursday, we were supposed to have our school mass in the gym, our Easter mass. But for obvious reasons, that will not happen. And so I hope through this video message, I can reach you. Just two months ago, remember we were celebrating our Ash Wednesday liturgy as a school community in the gym. We were going about our daily lives, the school, playground, home, uh, different commitments. But we were just beginning to hear the story about some virus in China and Europe. But little did we know how much the coronavirus would become a part of our daily life and concern. In the midst of this health crisis and global pandemic, we have had to make sacrifices for ourselves and for others, especially the vulnerable. Our usual gathering places of home, school, church, sports arena, and cinemas have been disrupted. We miss seeing our family and friends, our teachers, the staff, our school, our church. These are challenging times indeed. And for this reason, we need to hear again the hopeful and peaceful and healing message of the Easter promise. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, rose again so that we might have life, fullness of life and everlasting life. Although social media, emails, texts and phone calls can help us to stay connected, they can never replace the warmth and presence of human contact. My open prayer for this Easter is that while we continue the necessary and life-saving practices of social distance, let us try to draw closer to each other in spirit, in love, in solidarity. Let us draw closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who imparts to us his saving grace. Recently, I had the opportunity to speak to some of the families as I informed them, unfortunately, that our confirmation and First Holy Communion would be postponed, most likely to the fall. But many of you told me that, yes, while this social isolation is challenging, it has given you more time to spend together as a family to slow down, and to come up with creative ways to have fun. Jesus told his disciples, and he tells us again, be not afraid, be not afraid. He will see us through this crisis. And aside from the support that we can give to each other, let us turn to the power of prayer, especially praying together as a family. Let us pray for the sick and the dying and their families. Let us pray for our true heroes, the doctors, the nurses, and healthcare staff doing tremendous works of healing. Let us pray for our service people, our drivers, our bank tellers, who ensure that we have access to food, medicine, and to our funds. We pray in gratitude for the support of our teachers and support staff and their loving dedication and care. And we pray for each other, knowing that we are not alone. And be assured of my prayers for you and your loved ones. 
I pray daily to Mass for your intentions. Each Sunday, I invite you to join me on Facebook Live, Blessed Sacrament Parish Hall, Burford, at 10 a.m., so that you can live stream the Mass as a family while our church doors remain closed. Even as I stare out to this empty church, I imagine seeing your faces, your smiles, your laughter and tears. Know that my heartfelt prayers and love go out all to all of you. My dear friends, have a blessed and peaceful Easter, and I look forward to seeing you again. God bless you.